Hey everyone, it's been quite a while since my last video, almost a year in fact. In that time, a lot has happened for me. For starters, I graduated from seminary, and my wife and I also moved into a new house. But now that the rush of life events seems to be calming down, I want to dust off the channel and start doing videos more regularly again. I've also decided that it's time to do some house cleaning, so stick around to the end of the video to hear about some changes that'll be coming to the channel. For now, I want to talk about Star Wars and the upcoming Ahsoka show on Disney+. Plus. It's very difficult for me to put into words how I feel about this show. I'm not really excited about it, but it's not that I don't really care about it at all either. On the one hand, it is exciting to see some characters from Rebels again, a series that I thought was surprisingly good. I'm also interested in the Dark Jedi who appear to be the antagonists in the trailer. I've always found the Grey Jedi to be a fascinating concept, and I'm glad to see that getting tapped into. But on the other hand, Disney-era Star Wars has been almost entirely a disappointment, so I don't exactly have high expectations. But aside from that, I'm also not really excited about the show, because I've never been a big fan of Ahsoka, and in this video I want to explore why that is. When The Clone Wars first came out, I was 14 years old. At first, I was pretty excited about the show. I loved the 2D Clone Wars micro-series, so why wouldn't this be just as good? But after only a few episodes, I hated the show and stopped watching. It was the first time I'd encountered a Star Wars content that I wasn't a fan of. Part of the reason was because, unlike the Star Wars movies, The Clone Wars was very much a kid's show and lacked the maturity of plot, script, and overall style that the movies had. Another reason I hated the show was because it frequently contradicted the movies, Ahsoka herself being the biggest contradiction. And if it wasn't enough that she was a blatant insertion into the Star Wars universe, she was just so annoying. You're stuck with me, Sky Guy. <laughs> what did you just call me? After three or four episodes, I just couldn't take it anymore, and I stopped caring about the show. And Ahsoka was the main reason I didn't like it. Now imagine how shocked my 14-year-old self would have been to know just how beloved Ahsoka is today. She's become one of the most popular Star Wars characters out there, right up there with Vader, Luke, and Obi-Wan. I still remember how confused I was when, back in my early days of seminary, one of my friends, who was also a big Star Wars fan, and also happened to be several years younger than me, told me that Ahsoka was his favorite Star Wars character. It just didn't make sense. How could this obnoxious Padawan that had been written back into a story where she didn't belong be anyone's favorite character? It was actually because of this friend that I decided to give the Clone Wars another shot, and I watched all seven seasons as an adult. My opinion about The Clone Wars stayed pretty much the same. It had some good arcs, but it's still very much a kid's show and was painful to watch at times. But after watching all seven seasons, my opinion about Ahsoka did change somewhat. I don't hate her anymore, but I still don't like her that much. But the reason isn't because she's a bad character. Actually, her character arc is really similar to Anakin's in a lot of ways. She's almost an alternate version of Anakin. Like Anakin, she's very skilled for her age, which makes her brash, overconfident, and reckless. This makes both Anakin and Ahsoka pretty annoying as Padawans, but as they learn from their mistakes, they gain maturity and become more likable characters. Both Anakin and Ahsoka decide to leave the Jedi Order, although unlike Anakin, who is tempted by the dark side, Ahsoka never really stops being a Jedi. Ahsoka isn't tempted by the dark side, but she leaves the Order because she objects to what it has become. In this way, she's also a lot like my favorite Star Wars character, Qui-Gon Jinn, who also distanced himself from the Jedi Council and was not afraid to defy them when he thought they were wrong, though he never left the Order. So, if Ahsoka has a good character arc and shares the same qualities as other characters I like, why don't I like Ahsoka? Well, when it comes right down to it, I just don't view her as a real Star Wars character. Even though she's a good character, I'll never get over the fact that she's an insertion into Star Wars, a character that was rewritten back into a story that she didn't exist in before. I spent the first years of my life watching and re-watching the movies, having lightsaber duels with my friends, building Star Wars Legos, and loving pretty much anything related to Star Wars. I had been engrossed in Star Wars for years before Ahsoka ever existed as a part of it. And then suddenly in 2008, I was just supposed to pretend that Ahsoka had been a part of the same Star Wars universe the whole time? I don't think so. But another reason I don't like Ahsoka is simply because neither she nor The Clone Wars was made for me. When The Clone Wars came out in 2008, Revenge of the Sith had already been out for three years. The Star Wars saga was already complete. 
but there was too much money in the Star Wars brand to let it die, so Lucasfilm needed to produce something to keep generating income, and more importantly, to raise up a new generation of Star Wars fans who would bring their money with them when they grew up. So The Clone Wars wasn't necessarily made for people like me who were already lifelong Star Wars fans. It was made to keep up interest in Star Wars and to create more lifelong Star Wars fans. And Ahsoka was a key part in building up that fan base. Ahsoka was a kid just like the kids that Clone Wars was targeted at. She was relatable enough so that the kids watching the show could project themselves onto her, pretending that they were Ahsoka, or thinking about how they would respond to a situation if they were in Ahsoka's shoes. This is good for the show because it gets its viewership more invested in the show, and it makes more money in the long run. And it also explains why Ahsoka has practically become the face of Clone Wars era Star Wars. As those kids got older, Ahsoka got older with them, and the kids watching Clone Wars went on the same journey that she did, so they felt a deep connection to her. I never liked Ahsoka or the Clone Wars that much because it wasn't made for me. It was made for a younger generation, and set the stage for a new Star Wars era made for them. And that brings me to the state of Star Wars in general. It's no secret that Star Wars today is nothing but a shadow of its former glory. There are a lot of reasons for why this is, but one reason dawned on me while I was thinking about why I just don't care about Ahsoka. It's because Star Wars today isn't even the same thing anymore. Like a house that's been remodeled, refurbished, and had additions built onto it until it's unrecognizable, the Star Wars of today sits on the same foundation, but just isn't the same house. The writers are different, the most important characters are different, even the lore is different, case in point being that Ahsoka apparently embodies the light side of the Force. I miss the good old days when the Force was just metachlorians. All that is to say, Star Wars just isn't Star Wars anymore, and I can't bring myself to consider anything outside the original trilogy and the prequels as canon. Some of it might be enjoyable, but I just can't put it on the same level as episodes 1 through 6. That's not because those films are perfect by any means, but they came first, and anything that contradicts them just doesn't feel right. I suppose you could make the same argument about the prequels contradicting the original trilogy, and I think that's fair. The prequels changed Star Wars a lot as well, and I, had I been born in the 80s, I probably would feel like the prequels weren't real Star Wars either. But even if you disagree... It doesn't change the fact that Star Wars today is not the same Star Wars that what existed 15 years ago. And that's why I don't care so much anymore. Anyway, I hope the Ahsoka show is good, and I'm looking forward to talking about it once it's finished. So I hope you'll check back in later to see what I think of it. Now, about my channel. If you've looked through all my videos, you've probably noticed that my channel is a strange mix of movie reviews and Bible videos. So to clean things up, I've decided to make a second channel. This new channel, Thinking Theologically, will be the place for all my Bible-related content. And this channel, Theophilus, will be the place where I talk about movies, Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, or whatever pop culture I feel like talking about. I hope you'll check out the new channel. I already got at least one video done on Hannah's Prayer, and I'm working on another script about the biblical covenants. If you like what you heard here, uh, please help me out by liking, commenting, and sharing with a friend. And thanks so much for watching. It really does mean a lot.